Instead of thinking with the egg, bro. Got them chicks living whole and keeping them legs closed. Lights, camera, action. Ready, homie, let's go. What we about to clown. What's going on, everybody? This is your boy Red, host of Life As I Know It, here on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash inside Mr. RX3. You guys, as you can tell by the topic, it is a Be Positive series video. We're going to have a good conversation on positive uh, information or positive um, encouragement. I usually do this or I schedule to do this on Mondays, but it's time for another video so let's get into it today's video as you can tell by the topic or the annotation or not the topic but by the title of this video or the annotation it is 10 essential things that um, every college student preferably new college student needs to know and needs to get prepared and being that um, they had already have got going back to school and um, you know getting things together Let's go ahead and get this in. And also, this video is available for those who um, will be, you know, going to school next year. So please take note, current college students, and please take note, um, seniors in high school who are planning to go to college. And so here are 10 essential things that um, I would suggest for you all. And they are in no particular order, which one should be. But anyway, um, number one. Number one, I say this with all sincerity, do not go anywhere alone. Take your roommate or someone you already know. And also with this, um, 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 implement the buddy system. And not only with this, I'll, int I'll, I'll speak on that, uh, you know, again, but implement the buddy system. Implement the buddy system wherever you go make sure even at night even during the daytime cuz y'all nowadays people is just being you know bold by snatching folks up during the daytime so don't go nowhere alone and always make sure your cell phone is charged and always make sure that you have some type of you know separate communication with you, whether it be cell phone whether it be um um you know a tablet that has wi-fi connectivity that you you can always get in contact with somebody on a mobile device that is um, internet capability or mo or, or um, um, you know what's it called data plan on it. Um, you can call somebody on Facebook, call somebody on your phone, whatever. But make sure you have something with you that's charged. If you should be alone, or you know if you cannot get nobody to walk with you. But number one, always take somebody with you wherever you go. Number two. If you so happen to be in the cafeteria, in your room, until you, you know, the room part, even if, I am about to say in the room part, whenever you get to know your roommate, but even so, they may bring somebody in there and somebody you don't know. But whatever you do, whenever you put your drink down, if you have, should come back to it, throw it away and get something else. People in college, y'all, nowadays are really getting bold on, um, you know, spiking drinks and all of that but do not leave food or do not leave drinks unattended number three and this should be should have been number one or even probably number two is find a solid uh place of worship to attend you know and i would say this that school work college can get lonesome and you know you can get to by yourself or you can get overwhelmed but you need a spiritual um connection a spiritual guidance a spiritual you know part in your life to keep you motivated and keep you moving and keep you going if you know there's a college to where that you know you have to attend you know the campus the 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 chapel or the services you know um on campus if they allow it or whatever please you know for one let it be something that you believe in and two um don't neglect that so you know always have um um you know that solid church to attend and you know with being in college and away from your family and you know school work on your 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 table and on your plate i wouldn't so much say be involved but be involved when you can and let your pastor know when you join that church or let them know okay hey i'm on i'm a college student 
or you know I'm I'm you know attending this church away from home I want to be supportive but if I can't just know that I'm in school or doing school work number four um, please don't start dating a dating relationship um, your first year and even if you coming off of um, a relationship or coming from a relationship out of high school Be mindful and be, you know, be okay. You know, have your eyes open with that. And, you know, I hope it's genuine and true in your significant other, your boyfriend or your girlfriend um, is mindful that, look, hey, we still in a relationship. You know, I'm, we high school sweethearts. But let's, you know, let's, let's, let's be together. But, you know, don't let our school work um slack or don't let our schoolwork um or don't let this relationship get in the way of our schoolwork but still cater to that you know because i know you know i know people now they've been they've been high school sweethearts with the college and still maintain their relationship in good grades and all of that and so you know hey um you know if you if you're in a, if you're not dating don't start a relationship your first year me you know, go out and meet, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But um, I'm not saying don't, but like I said, meet, do inspections, and if so, um, implement that on your second year, your sophomore year. Uh, number two, get to know everybody in your school, in your dorm, every more so your professors, your administrators, the officials, the um, dorm attendance all of them know them relationships are essential um and also get to even know those those students who know the campus better than you make be friends with them be friends with them and, and implementing them in your buddy system you know and you know or whatever but um um number six uh organize or get someone who does who knows how to be organized and who knows how to be um um you know neat or whatever talk to your roommates before you get to your school or whatever and if you have you know one roommate or multiple just say okay who's gonna um you know i don't need two well maybe two microwaves because i would think but then again again if if you have two microwaves just know hey one of us can bring this one of us can you can bring the microwave i can bring the stereo talk to your roommate beforehand and say okay we want to bring a light load what can we you know minimalize before you know so we won't overpack or whatever because freshmen nowadays do just that is overpack so talk to your roommate beforehand and just let them know okay hey you want to you know you want to um um you know bring something and i bring the other things so we won't have to bring you know all the same stuff together that's good that's good. Um, uh, okay. Um, along with forming the relationship uh, with your roommate, always squash, and this is still part of number six of organizing or, um, you know, get someone who does. And also in in uh, relation to number four, but um, with forming relationships with your, um, you know, people at school, form it with your, your, your roommate. If, you, if it's someone that you do not know, Make sure you form it, get a bond or whatever, and um, because sometimes disagreements can happen, and you need to really squash them there. You know, you don't want to have no beef or carry no, 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 um, no disagreement or no beef with your roommate because you you live with them until you, you know that term is over or whatever. But um, it shouldn't be no tensions in the room, and and, and you know. You don't want to beef with your roommate because if you beef with your roommate, you're beefing with their friends who came to school with them. So you don't want that. You don't want that. So make sure you you're 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 forming relationships even with them. Number seven, don't go back home. And I will say, in only if need be, and only if you have a thick skin. And the reason why I say this is because if you should go back home, nine times out of ten you're gonna get homesick and want to leave school or whatever. So you know. Try to limit your home visits, but if so, 
you know, if you have to, then do that. If your parents making you go back because, um, you know, we sending you this money, but you're not coming home. If you can, do it. You know, support and then just go back here and go back. Freshmen, if you can't go home during time off, so fine, be it. Don't, you know. Um, classwork. Always do your work. Always study, 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 study. In the class, don't be afraid to ask questions. In your library, don't be afraid to ask questions. Um, you know, even with your buddy system, use this. Okay, if I should miss a class, can you please, you know, jot down the assignments and I'll do that for you as well. So, you know, manage your time, you know, along with even with organization. Set time for studies, set time for schoolwork, set time for doing extracurricular stuff. Set your time. Number nine, and I'm almost done, uh, get involved when you can, but just don't overwhelm yourself. Um, you know, um, you can you can get so bogged down with schoolwork, freshmen, you can get so bogged down with parties and um, as well as, you know, meeting new people and the, 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 um, the, the, what's the word I'm thinking of, the hype of being around new and away from people and you you being grown or whatever <laughs> don't 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 miss out on your work but and also don't get overwhelmed to it to where your work and your classes is put on the back burner because you will you will um, um get on um probation if you if you're not keeping up with what you have to keep up but also go to every uh, informational session, assembly that the school is having, and try to make your face known around campus. Get into student unions, get into student government, or if you can, or whatever. Just try to do what you can. Try to do what you can to make your face known. But also, don't forget, don't go away by yourself. Make friends or whatever, and use the buddy system. And number 10, always remember to take care of yourself. Eat and sleep. Don't get overwhelmed, bogged down, because if so, you can get catch anxiety, you can get emotional, then you're going to call your mom and say, Mom, I can't do this. Um, I need to come home. Make sure you eat, sleep, get rest, but do still do what you need to do to either go to church, be involved in the classes, be involved in school activities, and also make relationships. Those are the top 10 essentials that I have for each college student put more so your freshmen or whatever. But if you have any other questions, you can email me at laikivlogs at gmail.com or respond to this video with other questions and maybe I should um, implement them a little later. As you can tell, my phone is ringing. I'll talk to y'all later. Know that I love you for real. Peace.